I think we're back. I think we're back. Back. I'm not sure. Perhaps. Hmm. There we go, okay. Everything just loaded at once for me. Sorry about that. Apparently, that Wi-Fi connection wasn't good enough for my computer, so it just disconnected for no apparent reason. So, um, yeah, I just switched to the other channel, because I apparently have two channels now. Huh. Did not know this was a thing. I need to make sure that I'm starting a straight line here. Hold, please. It's so hard to get everybody to order it. Thank you, Dragon Jam. Dare I say one of the most chaotic beans I, I know. to see what it looks like. We're gonna do one first. I'm doing this all out of order. It's crazy. Don't care. This is my surprise face.
some chaos. Welcome to the chaos corner. Um, uh, and you thought you were bad at or, for studying the principles of the chaos, mathematics, and having an obsession with fractal cards. Oh. I mean, there's nothing bad about any of that, really. Nothing at all. Did you miss? Um, oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. Uh, you thrive on chaos. Perfect. Uh, and you thought you were bad. Oh, we already did that. This is also the same guy that drives an 18 wheeler through LA on a regular basis and enjoys it. Well, I mean, sounds pretty LA. <laughs> um, what have you missed? Uh, nothing. I just sewed up this first uh, seam on this first tray. Um, and. Rather than going through and marking all of them and then doing all the process like 
everything together. I really want to see what this tray looks like. So I'm going to do one and we're going to see what it looks like and then I'll go through and mark the rest and like do the whole process um, assembly line style. But I really want to see what this tray looks like. So we're doing it. So far, super excited. This was a good choice of fabric. like that you can still kind of see it but if you put it on the other side it's a little bit harder to see so I don't know but like it would essentially be like this That's what we're doing now. Yeah, that looks right. That's totally fine. Where's my... Uh... Uh, never mind, you see what I mean? The dark does help the dice pop out. Uh, it does look busy. They could, they are technically reversible even if you have the snaps. Um, I gave the option to make them reversible with the critical clips. Nobody actually took them. At least, I don't think they did. Um, so, yeah. Um, these are all going to have snaps with them. Um, if I had enough to do a extra tray, I would have done um, a reversible with girl clips, um, critical clips, and just done it that way. Um, however, there might be extras of the other fabrics, so we're going to see what happens there.
Um, I will say one thing about these trays in particular is that they are all deluxe trays. Like every single one of them for some reason ordered the deluxe tray. With the deluxe trays you get one fabric on the inside and one fabric on the, the outside. But then you also get the insert in the middle that has one fabric on each side. So you can use the insert with the uh, with this on the inside um, and still have the floral pattern and in the tray around it. So you can still see the the um, Nice. That does work. That's a thing they can do. Oh no, I should be on the other side. Why do I always do this? I'll get into the habit eventually. You know, I just changed the dimensions on my dice trays recently. I should probably write it down. <laughs> For the record, almost everything that I make, it, it's all just from here. I don't have patterns. I don't... I mean, I make notes sometimes. Like, there's notes somewhere in here for all of the stuff that I've made, um, but a lot of the refinement and stuff ends up just coming from, like, oh, hey, I just made one, and I didn't like this about it, so I'm just gonna do this differently. Um... I know I'm supposed to use a thing, but it's too much to set up. I'm too impatient. Anarchy! Um, I kid, I kid. Kind of. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm not seeing this person I rather warned you about. Fully need that too. Good morning or evening. Good morning. Good morning, Steph. It is definitely nine o'clock p.m. I know exactly what's going on. This is definitely not a sign I should stop sewing now. This is good. We're good. We're fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Good evening. Welcome to the chaos corner. I am Eris, your head of Bay in charge. Um, we're making a dice tray. You, you wanna see? You wanna see? Bam! Mm hmm. It's gonna be so sexy. Now, if only I could find where the opening is to stuff this. That would be beautiful. Come on. I did too good of a job, I think. Aha! Aha! I found it. It was right, right in front of me. Um. Got this. I got this. I know exactly what I'm doing. 
I can make these with my eyes closed. I could probably make them in my sleep though. If I had my eyes open. It's funny how like some people have dreams that they're at work or whatever. Um, I have dreams that I'm starting on stream and suddenly I realize that I wasn't wearing anything. Or I forgot to like do something completely obvious like put the foot down or something. What's wrong with me? As fun as it sounds, don't do that. I don't plan on it. Any of that. I don't plan on any of that. Let's just be clear here. We're not doing any of that. Yes, I know I talk about being naked a lot. It's like my preferred state. Everybody drinking tonight. Um, yes, I did say being naked is my preferred state. However, I also have quite a bit of uh, honesty. So, actually, I just don't want people to see me naked. I just prefer being naked, but nobody can see. That actually would be the best. In fact, turning invisible would be pretty cool. Can we just do that already, please? Someone figure out how to turn invisible. You know nothing said in best Hogan's hero voice. I don't know who that is. I'm sorry I didn't catch the reference. So you left for a few minutes. Now we're talking about being naked. What did you miss? Um, so if we were all blind, you would be okay na being naked around us? No. No. Nope. Just, you're still there. Sorry. I guess really what I'm saying is I'd rather be home by myself and comfortably warm enough to make it because frankly I'm always fucking cold. Like, 
not having any clothes or anything like binding or restricting me in my movement is preferable. Um, hey, you sent a friend a naked picture once, but for some reason all they seen was a black picture and told them I was shy and turned off the lights. I mean, whatever works, buddy. Uh, but does Fred see me naked? No, because Fred has eyes. I just, no. Sorry, Fred. I have to blindfold him. Um, them's the rules. Actually, no. I just remove his eyes. I'm sure it's a harmless procedure if you'd like to try it. back on, I'm sure of it. <laughs> so much worse. Uh, you are welcome. Oh my gosh. Get in there. Get in your hole. Another real reason that Fred wants is sometimes wine. Uh, <laughs> that was that was good, Keeper. That was good. Uh, I was just about to say something too, and then you talked about changing the subject. Now I can't think about anything else. Uh, <laughs> sewing machine. Uh, the cat is named Blizzard, but uh, here he is the supervisor. Everyone has our alter ego here in the chaos corner. Um, for example, you are all chaos beings. Um, because, once again, them's the rules. Sewing. So I just need to rub it out. The markings. I should say I need to rub the markings. Which is super duper easy on this fabric. Alright. And then.
used to not be able to do this this late. I'm pretty happy. I would never be able to finish my trays at night. But then I got Snappus and my life was changed forever. Snappus, let's do this. Okay, you got. Has the supervisor been scrubbing you again? Growing some eyelashes here. Octopus skirt, yeah! It's uh, the tentacle skirt by 88 Riddles. If you go to 88riddles.com, you can buy this design in a bunch of different, or you can buy this pattern in a bunch of different designs. You can get skirts and totes and shirts, tank tops, hoodies, all that jazz. I think you can even get notebooks. Excuse me, excuse me. You can get notebooks with octopus tentacles on it. Um, and if you use the code ARAS, A-R-A-S, you get 10% off and I get some love. Now if only I could figure out how this screws in, because it's not like I use it every week or anything like that. Come on.
There we go. Beautiful. I'm so happy with this tray. It is gorgeous. Yes. All right. And it's only nine. I should put this away. only nine o'clock that means that I've gotten one tray most of the way finished at least the tray part is finished um, everything came together so smoothly looks crisp I'm so 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 stoked about uh, finishing up and making all of them um, well I still have a bunch <laughs> this is just one tray I've got uh, four here to make plus um, three travel cases. But I wanted to see what one looked like finished. So I went ahead and did one to, you know, finish it. Um, now I'm gonna go through and mark everything else um, because why the heck not? well. I'm very happy with the start. Um, this material that I've upgraded to is easier to work with. Um, the new process I'm using is uh, making cleaner, straighter lines, uh, which also looks nice. Um, and it seems to actually speed up the process slightly, even though I'm actually making more marks now. Um, the sewing itself takes less time because I don't, uh, well, also the prep takes a bit less time. I think, maybe. Either way, I like this new process. I'm happy with it and I think that this is all gonna look fantastic tell you what I got the fabric ordered okay so this has been a big freaking week for me I got the fabric ordered for the rebel tries I got this fabric in I got another fabric in and started working on another batch of things to go out um, I got that all actually cut out and ready to be marked. Uh, but I can't show it. So, anyways, uh, yeah. So I got all that done. It's been good. It's been good.
last week, I think, but he got them this week. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm missing that much time. It's gonna be like super close to the end. I have to be careful with that one. back and forth from it's only Thursday and it's already Thursday all day long. Oh god, you know, that's like my everyday though. Time is so funny. Um, I'm finally gonna stop being on the work day on, work day off, work day on, off, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, off, fucking working every other day in a five day work week. It's fucking difficult. I tell you. It's so hard to figure out what day it is. It's so hard to plan anything. It's fine. It's fine. This is almost over. Where are these like just at? actually pretty good. I'm most certainly an night owl. I work best at night. But the alarm goes off at 4 a.m. So I start my day at 4 a.m. So that's what we do here.
hurting my ears. Follow it with glitch? Come on. Don't let me down, pretzel. It's almost 8.30 here and I'm about to head off to get ready for bed and I hope that I can get a solid 8 hours before 6 a.m. Hey, that's really good. You know what? That's actually better for you than staying up. Believe it or not, uh, sleep is actually like top notch. You should do that. And you should actually be getting somewhere between... Uh, eight to nine hours a night, depending on, you know, your own personal body habits. But, most people don't get nearly enough sleep. Don't you? What is this? It's fine. There's nothing wrong here, Fred. Alright, alright, I'll look at it. See? Look, it's fine. See, you still have thread in the bottom. The top is perfectly fine. Would you like me to re-thread you? I'll just, I'll do that to save myself the fucking pain later. broken. The thread is literally not, it's not broken at all. It's not sticking. You're perfectly fine. We're not. Can we not? Can we not? There's nothing, there's nothing even wrong with the stitch tension, dude. Well, I don't 
don't know what the fuck you want, dude. Because there's literally nothing wrong here. See, look at those perfect fucking stitches. Sorry, I curse a lot. No, I'm not. Not actually sorry. Fred is being fussy as per usual because you're here. No, he's not. It's not because you're here. He's just... <sighs> I was being too efficient. Maybe a wizard sent a curse to my machine. fucking stitches, Fred. Beautiful fucking stitches. Every single one of them. There's nothing wrong with this stitch. Why are you doing this to me? Alright. This is what we're doing. We're taking everything, everything out. Because you can't be trusted. You and your addictions. We gotta talk about this. That bobbin looks good. You know what? We're turning you off. Sit there and think about what you've done. Why are you telling him good job? He just kept bitching. He's so... So fussy.
Um, excuse me, I'm not reading that one out loud, Keeper. Don't need to be giving him any ideas now. If he's in any if he's in any distress, he'll blink. Just just keep watching. Wait for it. Dropping in a random encounter. Bye bye corners. Gentipede? Is that where a hat and monocle? Yes. It's a gentle centipede. That that is a centipede with a hat and monocle. For sure. Definitely. It's a gentle. This is not in a game, I will be very upset.
but it's the gentleman. Yes, it does look like a cross between a centipede and Mr. Peanut. I would say that would be an accurate description. It's like if you took Mr. Peanut and gave him like a hundred extra legs and like elongated his peanut ass body, he would be a peanut bee. Yep, that's what I said. Stab that joker. Yeah. Crawling out of a giant chasm. Never winter. That's terrifying. Frankly. Yeah, terrifying. Terrifying is a great word for that. That's terrifying. Just a quick random encounter before you set a coven of sea hags on them while they're sailing to water deep. You know, like you do. This is fine. It'll be great. Uh, in real life, you think giant centipedes are scary mofos. They're just so aggressive. I'm sure they are.
best random encounter ever was Pennywise the Clown Drider Hybrid. I described a spider with a clown torso. My players all looked at me and said, nope. Uh, you know, yeah, I'm going to have to say nope on that too. No, thank you. Um, I will say there was also, there was a time in uh, Out of the Abyss where we walked into an area and it became very, very uh, apparent to all of us that there was something going on in that room and we did not want to breathe that air. And um, we all just completely were like, nah, we're going to go back the way we came. Uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. Have a good night too. I hope you sleep well and get your full eight hours. I'm probably going to be trying to go to bed soon too. I think I still have a cookie with my name on it though. Gotta get that cookie. ideal to judge a book by its cover is the most harmless looking can be the most dangerous. Yeah. I think a lot of people have learned that over the years. Like anything in the Feywild, the more pretty it is, the more likely it's going to kill you.
Alrighty. Those are all marked out. So they all need labels and they need ironing and then another stitch around as well as um, inserts. So I think in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get out of here um, just because it's probably a good stopping point for the evening, especially since we're trying to get more sleep. I have to go in the office tomorrow and I actually have to drop my car off at the mechanic shop so I can get all my tires and brakes and everything fixed. So it's gonna be a big long day um, and tomorrow, evening I might stream maybe perhaps not I don't know we'll see um, anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get going however we're gonna go ahead and raid Somati Games I think yeah let's go ahead and raid him That. Are we ready to go? We are ready to go. Perfect. Alright. And three, two, one. Bye, everybody.